Hey, it's Lozo here. I'm just um, getting ready to do an audition right now. Um, I'm a little nervous. Actually, a lot nervous. But uh, hopefully things will work out for the best. Oh, Murray! Murray, what's the matter here? You're looking a little pale. Okay, so I get up on stage and I'm all like, like, it was, it was the part where Ma was all like, you know, getting in trouble, you know, like trying to dig a tree, whatever, a cemetery, whatever the hell, so I go up there and I was like, okay, I'm going to go in there. I go up on stage and I'm like, like, Maud, Gra Grandma Maud, you're causing trouble again. I was like, no, 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 and everything. Why don't you go see the preacher reverend and everything. So they took me up and everything. I was like, the preacher, the guy back and everything. He's like, all right, come this way and everything. He went me downstairs. I nearly fucking tripped and busted my neck on the damn stairs. And the bastard didn't care, asshole. So a few minutes later, I was just like, you know, the, the director, like, manager, whatever the hell, comes over to me. And he's all like, uh, yeah, can we come see, talk to you for a minute? And I was like, wow, okay. For a second, I thought that it was for, like, um, for, like, like, oh, you have good talent and blah, 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 blah. But... It didn't seem very good. I was like, uh-oh, my trouble. I was like, did I do something wrong? I was asking, but I, what did I do? Did I do anything wrong? And they were like, you went in the middle of a stage, right in the middle of a play, and you can't do that. You just destructed a play. You didn't cause any real damage or anything. It's okay. The actor's still very fine, but you can't do that. And we're probably going to have to ask you to leave. I was like, what? Uh, I didn't know. I thought it was an audition. You know, I completely misunderstood. And they're like, well, yeah, you can't do that. You know, it's not cool at all. Who are you with? Are you with some friends? Like, yeah, I'm with two other friends. Well, where are they? Well, they're in the audience. And then he was like, well, can you point them out for me? I was like, well, I'm not really sure. You know, they probably, they saw me you take me away. So they're probably left right now. Like, well, you need to go to the audience to see if they're there. I was like, I went over there and I looked, you know, to see if Daryl and Nate were there. They're all like, I was like, you know, they probably left. They probably see me with you right now. They probably took off. Either way, it's too dark. You can't see where the heck they are. So either way and everything, I saw Nate. Nate walked out and passed and everything. They're like, is that Daryl? I was like, no, that's not Daryl. That's uh, some other guy. I don't know who that is. So either way, uh, I was just, they were all like, okay, like, yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> anyway, I want. I walked and I, I just walked and left there and everything and eventually Daryl called me, he was all paranoid, like, dude, where are you? Where are you? I need to come get you right there. You're not with them, are you? You're not with them, are you? We're like, no. So he met me at the place where he dropped me off and then we walked and everything. Everything was going great until he looked at me, he was like, hey, look on your collar. And I was like, what? What? What's on there? Is there a bug? And there was a huge caterpillar the size like this on my collar. And then right as that was happening, a cop was pulling up and then I started going crazy, like, ah, get it off, get it off. I tore my shirt off and the buttons flew off everywhere. Like, ah, oh, no, no, get it off me. And the cop was seeing this and he told me and Daryl to sit down in the concrete and everything, you know, to question us. And then he didn't, he handcuffed me, but he didn't handcuff Daryl. He handcuffed me. And he asked us all these questions like, are you on medication? Are you taking this and the blah, blah, blah? Have you taken any drugs, narcotics, like any of this, blah? I was like, no, and everything. Like, you know, they just asked questions, everything. And they asked me, okay, where's your third friend, and everything? What's his name? Who, he told you about the audition. I was like, his name is Jack Tran, and I don't know where he is right now. He took off. And then Daryl sold Dane out completely and said, uh, Nathan Blankenfeld, he's in the car somewhere. And then, you know, I was like, you know, I was like, no, I don't know where he is right now. And he was like, all right, then, this is a warning. Don't come back here unless it's a really big event that you want to come to see. Or just don't come back from the rest of the semester because you guys need to get in the outcome. won't be as great as this time, you know? You want to go to audition, you know, you got to ask, you know, and really get the information before you go up there and everything. So, you know, you guys go right now and everything. So we left, and uh, we got the hell out of there. And uh, Nate was in the back seat, cowering, you know, scared, like, oh, my God. Oh, my God, are they gone? Are they gone? And we drove off, and, you know, that's pretty much what happened.